Hey guys, this is Brandon with Low Country Hydroprint. Uh, I'm going to shoot a video here to show you guys this new paint that I've got that's coming out on the market. It's going to be called Low Country Hydro Paint. I uh, told a few of you on the forum that I'd shoot a full length video so that you could see how this stuff works. Not really sure how it's going to work as far as the time goes. I'm going to, uh, I guess, just upload it to YouTube. You guys can watch the timer on there and, and determine how things are working from there. Several of you have had questions about how to hold small parts when you're painting them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a speed shape. Uh, right now the temperature is about 88 degrees and it's 51 percent humidity here in South Carolina. So anyway we're going to start off with a speed shape. Um, basically with a speed shape I'm going to use a piece of 320 grit sandpaper. And what we're going to do is just scuff this speed shape up so it's just where it's not shiny anymore. This is going to be a mundane video for those of you that watch these or that do this stuff all the time. So just bear with me. This one's not for you guys. The second part of it when we get to the paint will be. Basically just get all the clear scuffed up where you can't see it, see through it anymore. Okay, about like that, that looks pretty good. And what we'll do from here is I'm gonna spray it with some alcohol just to kind of get my fingerprints off of it and to get the sanding dust off of it. Okay. And while that alcohol flashes off, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of a little cardboard tube here. Uh, this is just the same cardboard tube that your film comes on. I've got a hot glue gun. Just go put just a little couple of dabs of hot glue on here and then just stick it right to the bottom of this thing okay so now you've got a little handle and you can take a spring clamp like this one and just clamp it now you've got a way to hold the part now those of you that have been around a while know what a lazy susan is some of the younger kids might not now, i found this lazy susan for like five bucks at a yard sale. Works like a champ. You can sit your parts down, you can spin them around, paint them all day long. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I don't have my fancy labels up yet. I'm gonna have these cans labeled before long. This is my product here. Uh, this one's a multi cam or a multi camo, it's a tan. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna base this um, speed shape with this rattle can and from here is from the time I stop spraying it that's when you guys need to start watching the timer this is going to be uh, the difference in my paint and uh, maybe some of the stuff you guys are using now so uh, let's go ahead and get started painting so what we'll do is just spray the edges with one coat Okay, that looks like it's covered pretty good. So from now, you guys go ahead and start watching your timer. And uh, I'll be back with you in just a second. I'm gonna cut a piece of film.
Okay, I know this is kind of like watching paint dry, but, um, well, you get the pun. Okay, anyway, we're, what, two or three minutes into it now. You can see the paint's already flashed off, dry to the touch. Okay, so what we're going to do is, without breaking the video, we're going to bring it over here. We're going to dip it in multicam. Hang on just a minute, I'm going to get my assistant Wesley to hold the camera for me. Hold it on the tank right here. Okay, we're going to be using Hydrovator. It gives us about a 60 second soak if the tank's at 90 degrees. And this is by no means a race. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, just be super quick with it. I'm just showing you guys how quick this paint is and how well it'll work. I'm not back taping or anything. I don't know exactly how, you know, pretty the dip's going to turn out, but I've done it before, so maybe it'll be okay. Okay, we'll watch our film. Okay, once our film's glazed over, ready to go. There's the part, and we'll come in here and we'll rinse it. I'm going to rinse this one in the sink.
Okay, basically there it is. I got one little air bubble right here. And I'm not going to clear coat this one right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out here. And in just a few minutes after I get it dried off, I'm going to take a, a razor blade and I'm going to score the paint with it. And I'm going to stick a piece of tape to it and then rip it off. And uh, I would kind of expect the print to come off of the paint, but I don't expect the paint to come off of the, of the speed shape. So anyway, that's going to be Low Country Hydro Paint and Low Country Hydro Print. And um, I will see you guys on the forum if you got any questions. Thanks. Bye.